So excuse any noise in the background, I am washing our Chinese blanket at the moment. Um, I did go out this morning before it got really hot and it is really hot now because um, I had a few things to do. First of all, I had to go to the surgery, I had a query on medication, make sure because there seems to be you know, so much delay in getting it from Boots. Um, then after that, I did actually um, go over to Boots and I was there about 20 to 9 in the queue. It was a fair queue actually. There was three people in front of me even at that time. And by the time they opened up, there was a queue behind um, because I thought, well, I'm going to query about my medication there as well. And then after there, I went um, to Tesco's because I had to go to the post office. I had quite a few things to post. Uh, I did a little bit of shopping in Tesco's, not much, just a few bits. Then I went quickly to Poundland and then I walked at home. By that time, I was really hot and bothered and everything because everything was a queue. Um, my medication wasn't ready, so that had a knock-on effect, a knock-on effect. I think a lot of people have gone out early today um, knowing that it was going to be hot and wanted to get everything done. So that's just a brief anyway. So um, if it hadn't been for a number of things, I probably wouldn't have bothered. But first of all, I'm going to do Tesco's. I have got my receipt here. Um, so I might quickly look down and I want to get this bit done so I can get it in the fridge. So the first thing is we've got a change of menus. I wasn't going to buy any more food. Um, but when I said I got roasted, <laughs> I got meatballs. I had got, you know, gammon, a lot of things. I'm changing the menus where I can actually due to the fact, obviously, <laughs> we're in the middle of heat wave although it's supposed to rain over the weekend so we're gonna have um, chicken fajitas tonight I changed the menu yesterday I managed to scrounge up enough to have jacket potatoes and I've got apology if you watch all my videos I have been forgetting to actually um, you know video the meals so there's gonna be gaps so this is Willow Farms and I paid what did I pay for these 572 I went for the fresh chicken breast due to the fact I didn't have to worry about defrost and everything so as I said I'll do this bit quickly so I can get them in the fridge an item we have already eaten when I say get them in the fridge get them back in the fridge because we've already eaten the um, me and my son the um, quiche Lorraine this was a um, beechwood smoked bacon this was um, two pounds I'm going to do the prices that I've paid because I know for a fact, you know, you have two prices now, normal price and club card, bonus card price, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, we've already eaten that, so I'll have to get these things back in the fridge. That's sometimes how I do it. The cheese was £3.50, which strength for is Tesco's, and yes, um, this is for 700 grams, as you know. I've gone off Cathedral because I get more for my money, um, you know, with home brands. Then I've got the grated cheese, which is £2.49, I should have known that. That is to go with the chicken fajitas um, this evening. I've got um, luncheon meat, 20 slices, that was 86 pence because I did jacket potatoes so I went through a lot of um, cooked meats with it and by the time we had it they appreciated it more than what I was going to do, so is that. And then the last item is a non-food item, I have got an extra large size, it might be um, too big in the waist for the um, bottoms found it very difficult either to buy shorts and t-shirts even months ago but it was the price of them um this was in the father's day range i say i got extra large because have has been like an extra large t-shirt it says dad's not sleeping his um resting his eyes and these were eight pounds down to six due to father's day and this is the shorts and t-shirt set so for six pounds i thought you know, that's not bad. Um, you know, 
gone are the days where I seem to get them really reasonable. So they were six pounds. So I'm just going to get these things back in the fridge because of the heat. And then I've just got a couple of little bits and um, two items I got from Poundland. So um, I did get one item from Boots because I went in for my prescriptions, which is here. Yeah, quite a few in there. Um, because I went into surgery also to query this item here. Now this is um, D3. Um, it's a vitamin D, but it's in um, capsules if anybody's taken these. And I've got my last one to take on Sunday, which is of course six weeks. You take them once a week. It's these um, because of the strength, um, because my um, vitamin D level was abnormal drastically so put the on these for six weeks but I had to query because um, I sent messages through the surgery and online and I hadn't got response so I said I've got to come in because I take the last one of these um, this Sunday and I um, needed to find out if I'm supposed to then purchase um, the vitamin D over the counter and because when I read this, it contains one capsule by mouth once a week for six doses, so for six weeks, then use, and it cuts off. Um, and so I went into my surgery, she wrote it down of the um, milligrams I should be taking. It turns out you can take um, vitamin D um, in, no, in a number of different dosages, but I needed 25 milligrams. So after Sunday, I have to wait a week so I can take my my D um, vitamin D, which is these, and these were five pounds twenty five. There we are. So yeah, so then I take one of these. I believe it's one a day. I'm gonna have to ring it up. But this is the twenty five milligrams. But this was the information I didn't get. This is for ninety six. It says mini tablets. So. And I don't know how long I'm going to have to take these, whether I'll have to take them for the rest of my life. I think what happens is I've got to take them for a period of time and then they'll do another blood test to see what's going on. So, yeah, just something else on the list. And then um, I went into Poundland. I, I was going to go into B&M, which is across the road, but I got too hot. And to tell you the truth... <laughs> By this time, I was just itching to go home. I think after Boots, I'd had enough because I was a bit annoyed, as per usual. So, um, yeah, I got these um, fun stickers. You can get so many different stickers from Poundland. It's two for a pound, but I wanted the letters and numbers for my planner. So that's these. Um, it does say, scan the code to see our best-selling stickers, which is actually on the back and um, yeah, some information so i wanted the actual um letters and numbers this time so that's two for a pound and then the other item i know my son's got this t-shirt but i don't remember it um actually getting it with the jam bottom so whether i bought it a while back and i got it at reduced rate say two quid i don't know because it didn't come with bottoms i don't know but this is a pajama set yeah into pyjamas <laughs> don't know whether our son's going to end up having these just before his birthday because I think he badly needs pyjamas eat, sleep, play, repeat I say I know he's got the t-shirt again I've gone for the extra large well actually this is extra extra large because um, I don't know especially from Poundland some stores it's better I think in some ways to have the t-shirts big especially for sleeping and then it comes with the shorts, which is these. So, and they're not too thick either. So he may have this um, early birthday present. I have got him some other bits that I know are gaming. So I, hopefully I'll get that all put together. Um, but that's all I got in my haul. Um, so just a few bits and I, I say I was too too hot and bothered to actually go into B&M or anywhere else because I would have liked to spend a little bit longer in um, Poundland. Um, I picked up this 
but now so I was going to the cashew pit stickers up and that was it because to tell you the truth, I just had it <laughs> which is unlike me especially I never used to be like this but I think with the nice weather I just wanted to get home because I've got things to do so hopefully you've enjoyed this haul I'm not going to leave my video here I'm, I know I say that in the caravan because I've got a few bits possibly I'm going to add on um, which is not going to probably be a lot. I'm just going to do a sort of straighten up around our home. Got basics done, although I've actually got the big Chinese blanket in my washing machine at the moment. So hopefully someone will help me put it on the line because I need to drag it over the double line, as I said before. It's a large, heavy blanket, especially when it's wet. So, like I said, we'll see what else goes on for the rest of the day. It might be at the slowest um, pace even slower than it was yesterday actually